Hello everyone, welcome to Root to Mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this equation. So here, we are asked to find all the roots of x. Okay, so without any delay, let's just start the solution. So we have given root x plus root under minus x equals to 2. Okay, so this implies this. I can write this as root x plus. Here, we have root under minus x so i can write this as minus 1 multiplied with x equals to 2 so this implies this root x plus root over minus 1 multiplied with root over x equals to 2 so we know that root over of minus 1 is equals to iota so this implies this, I can write this as root x plus iota root x equals to 2. Okay, this implies this, let's just take root x common from these two terms. So, taking root x common, so we have 1 plus iota equals to 2. So, by cross multiplication, I can write root x equals to 2 by 1 plus iota. So, here we have iota. In the denominator, in order to remove or eliminate this iota from denominator, I'll multiply its conjugate in both numerator and denominator. Okay, so I can write root x equals to 2 by 1 plus iota multiplied with 1 minus iota divided by 1 minus iota. This implies this root x equals to 2 multiplied with 1 minus iota divide by so here we will apply the algebraic identity of a plus b multiplied with a minus b equals to a square minus b square so let's just consider a as 1 and b as iota we have 1 minus iota square and we know that iota equals to root over of minus 1 so, iota square is nothing but minus 1. Okay. This implies this. Root x equals to 2. 1 minus iota divided by 1 minus of minus 1. This implies this. Root x equals to 2. 1 minus iota divided by 2. So, here 2 to get cancelled out. This implies this root x equals to 1 minus iota okay now in order to find the value of x we will square both side of equation so x equals to 1 minus iota whole square okay we will apply the algebraic identity of a minus b whole square which is equals to a square minus 2ab plus b square here a is 1 and b is iota so, this implies this x equals to 1 plus iota square minus 2 iota. So, this implies this x equals to 1 minus 1 minus 2 iota. So, 1 minus 1 get cancelled out. So, this implies this x equals to minus 2 iota. Okay. So, here we are getting x equals to minus 2 iota. But the complex conjugate roots theorem state that if p is a polynomial in one variable with real coefficient a plus iota b is a root of p with b is a real number then its complex conjugate a minus ib is also a root of p. So according to this theorem the conjugate also a root of x. So we can write x equals to 2 iota is also one of the root of x. Thus, x equals to plus or minus 2 iota are the roots of x. I hope you have understood the solution. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for more such interesting videos. Thank you.